to Spunky 1000 and today we're going to do my nails. I'm going to try to do my nails. Um, I, did, I already filed them um, because, you know, people know how to file and stuff. I'll show you what I file with my fingernails with though. This is really cute. I think I did a video on it. I can't remember when though. It's been a while. I believe I got this at the flea market a long time ago. It's called Naked Nails. And you got little buffers on here, and you use each buffer, you know, for different things. So I have all these little buffers here. The purple one that kind of smooths the top of your um, your nail, and also any blemishes or anything, it takes it out. The green one, I can't remember. I haven't used it in a long time, but today I felt like I was going to use it because I want to try this nail polish stuff out. Um, let me see here. Hold on just a second. We'll go over this just a little bit. I don't remember how much this was, um, but if I can find the video, I'll put it up at the end. Okay, so the green ones, well, okay, the white ones, shine it. Shine your nails. This is the white one. Then you have the green one, files your nails. So use these one. They give you two of them. So you get two. And the white one. And where's the purple one? I just had it. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. And this purple one buffs the edges and the ridges and imperfections of the nail surface. So these are really cool. And it gives you directions and everything. Um, yeah, so um, I use it. I should use it more, but I was going to the salon, you know, I take my mom and we go get our nails done and, you know, and it's fun. And I usually, and I still go to do my toes, but I, I've decided, you know, every time I get my nails done from them, or maybe it's just anywhere, that um, they don't last very long. You know, the nail polish chips within a week or two. And I'm not working, I'm just doing dishes and doing, you know, normal stuff around the house. So, um, I could not use nail polish in that at work, so I never really did my nails much. Um, but now that I'm not working, I can use nail polish. So, yeah. So, anyways, so when I went to Dollar Tree the other day, we found this. I found this. And I thought, oh, that's cute. I'm going to try it. So it um, kind of hardens your nails and it and t also helps them grow. Um, and then it gives you little sparkles here that you can do on top. And you can put it anywhere you want on your nail. So I want to try this. But first I'm going to put this hard nail stuff on first. And then I'm going to apply it again twice. So, um, yeah, so I already got my nails where I want them the best I can. And hopefully I can do this without it looking too bad. That's the only problem why I, why I went to the salon anyways, because my hand jerks, you know, and it doesn't look the best. But um, hopefully I can do this. So stay tuned, and we'll be back. Okay guys, so also I got this nail polish remover at Dollar Tree for $1.25. It has the little pushy thing on top, which I like. That's pretty cool. And um, so when this is empty, I'm going to fill it up with my other bottle of nail polish remover that I have in a regular bottle. So I just pour it in here and use it that way. I like the little pushy thing. I think that's a great idea. So what it says when you're finished with the filing stuff that I have in here, um, you have to clean your hands. And um, so what I used, I used this stuff. And this stuff is also supposed to help strengthen your nails. So if you got weak nails, and I, I have weak nails to a point, they get so long and then they break. So I really, I really never did my nails too much. I never did. I used to a long time ago when I was in college and stuff like that. But then I got away from it. You know, you start doing things that you have to do in life. And you just, you know, don't do them anymore. So anyways, I'm going to hopefully, I think you guys can see. Yeah, 
So, I don't know if I can bring you in close or what. If I bring you in too close, I might have to back you up a little bit. Sorry. Then I can bring you in a little bit closer. Oops, going the wrong way here. Alrighty. Anyway, so I'm going to put the hard nails on first because, you know, my nails are really brittle. So, hopefully I can do this. Uh, so, I was kind of going over some YouTubers to see, you know, what they do to make your nails better, you know, so they don't look jerky. A lot of them only do three strokes. They do one in the middle and two on each side of your nail. And then then they wipe around it so um i mean with the clear you know you you can't you can't really tell but um this will help um they say to put a base coat on well to me this is like a base coat it's strong and sturdy and it should help a lot you got vitamins in it and stuff like that so i'm just tired of not being able to do, not doing my nails. And before I had an excuse because, you know, you work in them. And, and in nursing, they they really don't want you to have nail polish because you are giving out meds. And they don't want the chip nail polish to get in with the medication that you're handing to, to people. And I get that. I understand. But it's nice. I had a teacher and, and that I... Um, when I was going through through for my um, certificate and she got fired she was an RN and she got fired because she refused to take her nail polish off and so she did became a teacher she said I like doing my nails and she had really long nails and they're really pretty you know I like doing my nails I like having them done you know they look really nice and it makes me feel good so she she quit actually quit her rn degree i mean this is what i'm being told by her uh, to um you know and become a just a an, an rn teacher so she could keep her nails now to me you know what if you're doing your job and you love your job then you sacrifice a little bit, you know. I sacrificed a lot. I didn't wear makeup. I didn't. I didn't dress up. I wore my scrubs and kept my hair back like I'm supposed to because I had long hair. And you know, you do what you what you have to. So this is going to take a minute to dry. So why I'm going to leave you at this at just for a second. I'm going to go get um a couple of q-tips so I can go around the edges when um, it's time. I'm going to let this dry for a few minutes first and they're going to take this out of the package and we'll see. And of course I like pink so I thought this would be really cute to do. This is and this was a dollar twenty-five, and you get both of them. I mean this is a small bottle but you know you're sampling and trying that's all you need you know I mean I don't have very long nails so I, I'm not going to need a lot of nail polish now I'll probably do a couple of coats so I'm sure so let me go get those q-tips and let these dry for a few minutes and then uh, we'll come back okay guys so my nails are dry you can see there you go so Look at this nail polish. I love pink. Pink is, makes me a happy person. I'm going to sneeze. Allergies are getting to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. So, that is so pretty. See how nice that is. That is really pretty. I like pink. Especially at this time of year. So, anyway. So, I'm going to... Put the nail polish on now what it says on here it says stroke nail polish down the center of nail from base to top with three even long strokes apply glitter where desired on nail so i'm probably going to put a couple coats on first so the first coat i'm just going to put on and then i'll do another coat and then i'll put the sparkles on 
so you guys can see here. Hopefully, I can, let's see if I can bring you up closer so you guys can see. I'll have to move it over a little bit this way so you guys can see better. Yeah, so. I'll put it up to the thing. So, let's try this and see how well we do. Yeah, it's going to be very thin, I think. Uh, I think it's supposed to only do three strokes. The first one doesn't really matter. Like, you want to try to make it decent. But see how thin it is? I don't know. That's why I said I kind of have to. I mean, I'm not doing three strokes here either. Eh. So, let's clean this up a little bit. My problem is the sturdiness. You know, my hand is terrible. So, if I can't do it with my right hand, how am I going to do this hand? That's, that's what I'll say. So, but I'm tired of going to the salon and it not lasting very long. You know, so. Gets old. So I thought, well, you know, I'll just try to do my fingernails and I'll get my toes done. So I really like to, to have it done. So. Now my nails got, I had to, I tear my nails a lot. They really do tear, so. Let's try to get this corner I never got. <laughs> this is not going to be fun for me. But we'll try to get it cleaned up. I'm just going to let it dry for now. And I'm going to do all of them. I'll let you see. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> Yeah. I really like to have my nails done too. It's just, you know, they charge you so much and I think it's $15 to do have just your regular nails done, which isn't really that bad. But I expect it to be on a lot longer than a week, at least three weeks. When I get my toes done, I can go almost six to eight weeks on my toes and not have to worry about getting them done again. And that's you know, it's money, you know, it's just, so I end up getting my toes done and my hand done, and now mind you, I like, the reason why I get my toes done is because, um, I like my feet done, because I wear a lot of flip flops, and I like my feet done, so, um, to be massaged and filed and on my heels and stuff, it's kind of good thing for me to do, so. And I know the nail polish looks nice, you know, when you have sandals on and flip-flops, so. I'm not one for shoes. I hate shoes. I always have. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to, uh, I'd walk everywhere in bare feet, outside and everything, but, um, not anymore. I have diabetes, and I have to really be careful, so. This is really... I think I'm putting it on too thin because it's not looking that great, I don't think. Ugh. I might not like this, I don't know. I'm not going to make you watch on both of them. I'm just going to do the one hand and then I'll do my other one if I like it. <laughs> if I don't, I'll be taking it off. I mean, this is Dollar Tree nail polish, but, you know, it's $1.25 and I like to have, you know, it should work. It's just, maybe it's me. <laughs> I don't know. So, I got, didn't get this side. I thought I did. And I was supposed to do three strokes. Yeah, right. And I don't see three strokes coming on here. Yeah. I can shake it up. Maybe that'll help a little bit. 
It's pretty color though. Hmm. I did that one better, I think. It's a good thing I'm putting another coat on so I can hide my mistakes here, hopefully. Yeah. See, it took some of it off when I did that. So I'm not happy with that idea. So. I was watching some of the girls on there on uh, YouTube about their nails and how they do them. I watch this one girl and she does gel, gel, a gel nail polish and I've always thought, oh, that would be cool to use. And I, I was going to get it once at the salon done to see what it would do and she said it only. I said, well, how long will it last? And she says, well, it'll last up to three weeks, but it's a lot more. So if you can do it at home, that's fine. And, um, but, you know, I just. I don't know if I, I don't know. If I want to do gel. It might, I might, I might try it if it lasts three weeks. But let's let this dry for a few minutes. Because I'm going to put another coat on it. And hopefully it'll make it look a little bit better. I need one of those things if I'm going to start doing my fingernails at home. I don't know. <laughs> Doesn't look the best. But I'm going to put another coat on. So I want this one to dry first. And, um... Yeah, I think I put maybe too much on here. Maybe, I don't know. I'm far from an expert on these. I mean, I haven't done my nails in so long. It's been years, tons of years. So, um, yeah, been a long, long time. So, and back then, you know, they looked better. I also think the nail polish was better back then because it's, I remember putting nail polish on and it lasting a lot longer than a friggin' week. I mean, I, my mom's even had hers done and it'll chip within the end of the week you, that and I'm like my god that was a waste of money you know I mean if you were going out somewhere and you wanted it done that's fine but you know for everyday use you would think that they would make sure it was going to stay on longer than a week you know to me anyways I I don't I don't know Nisa this is this is by LA Colors which is pretty popular you know the so, um, yeah, from Dollar Tree. So, cool. You know, if I can get it to on the way I want, maybe I need some practice. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of practice here might help. So, I don't know if I can do this. Eh. Yeah, I'll put it in here. Oh, yeah, and then you can take it and you can smooth it out on your finger. I like this little bottle. This is really cute. And I'm like, I, I have some in the regular bottle. So I thought, well, when this runs out, I'll just put it in there. Because I, I have a lot more, so. But this stuff's supposed to help your nails and strengthen it and stuff like that. So I thought, well, it might help. And I had last one broke really low and it kind of hurt. So, I don't want to have to clean. This one looks like a mess. Yeah. So, I don't know if it's dry yet. It's still a little tacky. Um, it might take a little longer to um, dry than the I have some that's supposed to, I think it dries like quickly. Quick drying stuff. I don't think this is quick drying, but I mean, you know, you didn't have a lot of money and you just wanted to, that's a little bit of nail polish. It's cheap enough. But is it too cheap? It shouldn't be. 
I mean, this brand is at Walmart. <coughs> I've seen it at Walmart. I think it also goes, they have it at Dollar General, too. So. I think my pinky's the best one. <laughs> Out of all of them. Yeah. So. We will give it a few minutes. And then I'm going to put a second coat on. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, so there's my nails all pink. So, doesn't I guess you have to put this on when it's wet. So, I'm going to put a little bit of sparkle. I wish it gave you something so you could take it out and just. So, I don't want to overdo it, you know? So, maybe. It, oh, it's got a plastic thing on here. I'm like trying to grab it. Um, hmm. Oh, okay, I got it, I think. Oh, there we go. Ooh, look at the sparkles. So, I'm just going to take a bit and see what it looks like. And... Ooh. I'm pounding it on there, so... Because you don't... You want it kind of to be a little bit even. stay on some of them because it's drying. This would be cute for a little girl and if you're going out for the evening or something you want a little bit of sparkle? I don't know. I like sparkle anytime. My mother loves sparkles so. Well, I don't want to put too much sparkle on. It's going to be sparkling everywhere now. And uh, I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. And I'm going to try to clean up my cuticles the best I can because you got to do it kind of fast. I do have three coats on there. And then I'm going to put the hard nails on top after I get it cleaned up the best I can. Now, I'm not the best at this, but, you know, practice makes perfect, right? So, anybody got any tips out there for me to maybe put my nail polish on better? So it doesn't look so jagged. I see you got to go one stroke, two stroke, and three stroke. And that's the way they do it. But, yeah. When your nails, your hands shake, you know, it just makes it harder. It really does. So, I don't know how some of these girls got it so perfect. And, like, they, they do it for a living. And they just do their own. <laughs> but... Okay, so I'm going to let this kind of dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to clean up my cuticles. You don't need to watch me do that. I'm just, and what I found, I'm squeezing this out, just putting it on the top. And what I'm using is my nail and just going around it because I use these and it kind of getting in there. These, you know, Q-tips, I was using those to try and, and my hand will slip, and then I'm ruining my nail polish. So I just kind of just dipping it. And just kind of going around the edges with that and it's taking that off with my other nail so I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do that with my other hand though yeah because that will be an interesting thing to do yeah trying to do my hand but yeah I guess a lot of this is practice and I'm out of it. I'm out of practice. I haven't done this in so long. But now that I'm not working, don't know when I'll be able to go back to work or if I'll ever be able to go back to work. Because, um, well, I was told a couple of things, so, um, so I might not be able to go back to work, so, which will suck because I, I, I like my job. I really do. I like to go and and I'll miss my job very much so. and anyways yeah that's all I'm doing right here I was going to take you off but um, yeah how do you guys get near those cuticles to make it so perfect I mean you some of those girls are amazing yeah well I used to be able to do it when I was in school they looked so nice but you know it's been years 
and then I get them done and they make them look so easy but they do it all day so is it worth going to the salon probably but you know you ain't got that kind of money and I'm not working you know you just need to sometimes do it yourself at home and I really don't want to pay to go every week to get my nails done. I'm sorry, I just don't want to. I think it should last a lot longer than a friggin' week. I think they're using cheaper nail polish too. My mom took her own in and she still had trouble. So she wasn't too happy either. So, anyways, I'm just kind of cleaning it up best I can. Um, yeah. Well, I got the sparkle going on though. It is pretty. I mean, if you know how to put this nail polish on better than me, go for it. I mean, to me, I'm not disappointed in it. Um, I think it's, you know, yeah. I mean, it's just a little, little thing. And you got plenty in there. You could probably do it. Oh my gosh, you probably can do your whole hand for a long time for a dollar twenty-five. You know, I had all different colors, so, you know, yeah, I wouldn't say. You know, um, I I would buy it again. Maybe I just need practice. Practice makes perfect. So, anyway, so I'm gonna. Um, this is probably already dry. Yeah, it is. So I'm gonna put my top coat on, and I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the other hand, and uh, I'll come back after it's all done. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, frustrated but I'm back now the product itself I would buy this yes no problem if you're interested go to Dollar Tree for $1.25 and get this and you get the little sparkly thing there's lots in here tons of the sparkles I got them all over the table um, there's my nails they're not very good I'm not happy because it's me not the product it has nothing to do with the product it's just you know, when you try to put it on there, it gets on the edge because your hand jerks. Then you try to wipe it off around your cuticles to make it look pretty. And then you end up making a mess out of your nails. So I'll probably take it off, but you get the idea. I think that one looks not too bad. And this one's not that bad either. And when you put the sparkle, I mean, you don't have to do every fingernail. You can do maybe one or two if you want. You know, be creative. I'm sure there's lots of girls out there who can do this perfectly. And it doesn't look like a third grader did it. Because <laughs> that's how I feel at this point. And um, I used to do this. And I used to not have this problem. <laughs> but I do now. So, anyways. I guess I just need to do it more often. And that so maybe I will leave it on I don't know let it dry fully and then I'll play with my cuticles to see if I can get it a little bit nicer around my cuticles like this one you know I bumped it so now I gotta redo it you know how many times do I gotta redo the dang thing before you know oops sorry you guys can't even see me sorry guys you know before uh, I run out of nail polish. <laughs> so anyways, but here, there you guys go. Sorry. Anyways, so you guys get the idea. Anyways, it's, it's pretty, yeah, but I'll probably take it off and probably just put the hard nails on and just leave that on. Because <laughs> I seem to, I have no trouble with this. <laughs> but when it comes to color, it just looks like crap. So, but, yeah, I think it's a great deal for $1.25. I mean, it's a small little sample bottle, but that's fine. And you get lots and lots of sparkles. I mean, I put I put quite a bit on, on my nails. You know, I wanted you to be able to see them. You know, you can see the sparkles in them. And then I dapped it down on the table, like tapped it, so then some of it would just run off. But, um, anybody who's got ideas or something to help me I would really appreciate it under the comments below so I can do this a little bit better um, love this thing right here 
at Dollar Tree. Really, really like it. And you know, this stuff right here comes off your, takes your nail polish off faster than the other stuff that I've been buying. So, um, you know, I've just been going to, you know, Winn-Dixie, Walmart. Okay, guys, I ran out of battery. I have no clue where I was. But anyways, I was talking about the nail polish remover from Dollar Tree. This is great stuff. I would really get this stuff. Like I was saying, you know, when I get home from the salon with my toes and it wears off, that I clean it up and take, I take my nail polish off, off by some nail polish remover that I think about a Dollar General. And the stuff, it takes a long time to come off. I have to rub and rub and rub. This stuff, I took it. Put it out, took it off, done. It was so nice. I don't know, but this is supposed to also help your nails, strengthening your nails too. So, yeah, I definitely recommend this. And also, you know, I really do recommend these. It's just me not being able to uh, make it pretty. So, I don't know. I, my hands are, are not the best sturdiness, so... And I haven't, ha I'm not way out of practice. And yeah, I try to make it clean, neat, and tidy around the cuticles. And then this happens, you know. So, yeah. So I'm not too happy. It's rough. I'm going to probably take it off. But um, that one's the best one right there. That one looks pretty good, really. But I still, you know, you want to go around the cuticles the best you can to make it clean it up. And it just. I don't know if I'm not waiting long enough for it to dry and then do it. That's probably what it is. I'm an impatient person. I don't like puzzles and I don't have, like to wait for my nails to dry. <laughs> so maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Anyways, I did try it. I don't, I mean, I like the color. I like the sparkle. I just don't like it on my nails. <laughs> it's just not. It's me. It's not the product. So that's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, it was fun and interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah don't do what i do but you know i i think this is great these are cute they're so cute and um there's plenty in here there's a lot in here you probably you could probably do it a couple of times before you ran out on it and lots of sparkles i have all kinds of sparkles in there so yep so that's it monkey says she's out for now i'm sorry i didn't make it so pretty on my nails but I don't know I'm a mess <laughs> and uh, so stay tuned I have a an order coming and it should be here hopefully tomorrow so I can do uh, my video on it I'm not sure but I might try not definitely but I might try to do it live so that would be fun I think to un unravel it i'm not going to tell you where i got it from until i do open it up so hopefully i'll get it tomorrow if not i'll definitely should have it tuesday but um yeah so that will be fun i bought a bunch of stuff so we'll have fun and i have a project to do too so i want to do um yeah so anyways you guys got any tips or anything on how to get my nails to look good with the nail polish on them give me some please i need them <laughs> in the comments below because um yeah i really would like to try to do mine more at home um i just don't feel going to the nail salon um when it only lasts a week their nail polish now i haven't tried to take my own nail polish down there and get them to do it that way maybe it'll last longer i mean i remember putting nail polish on when i was a teenager and that nail polish lasts a lot longer than a friggin' week. And I never did dishes, but I worked. I had to work and, you know, and I went to school. So I was knocking them and bumping them. And, uh, no, I don't remember the nail polish coming off so fast. Um, I think they must have changed a lot of them or something. Now, my mom, she, she takes her hardest nails and gets them to do her fingernails with her hard nails. And then she gets her toes done. Um, the toes last a lot longer. I can go about six weeks, I believe. It's about six weeks with my toes. And that's pretty good. Um, but, 
you know when you're when you pay for for only a week and it, and it's falling off you know to me I'm not getting my money's worth so I rather do my nails at home and get my toes done at the salon so if you guys got any tips where I can make it nicer and prettier cleaner thinner liner <laughs> I don't know and uh, I I really like that one though that one really turned out good <laughs> if I could have had that whole hand like that you know what I keep it <laughs> and you know it looks better without my glasses on <laughs> oh my god Anyways, y'all have a great rest of the Easter holiday, and I hope I'll see you um, soon, tomorrow, on my next video. So, Monkey says she's out for now, y'all. Bye.